testified to NBI Davao when I was still a young agent, November 14 to, of 2000, and the investigator was uh, uh, Gerald Intis. And it was reported on January 26, 2001. After the Bureau, NBI Simri of Davao, had, uh, I'm referring to my notes, Your Honor, had filed a case of uh, kidnapping for ransom against one Edgar Matumbato, male of legal age, resident of kilometer 14, Buhangin Barangay Tagbabo, Piña Plata, Samal, Piña Plata Island Garden City of Samal. Number two, Sunny Custodio, male of legal age, ex-policeman. Policeman. Ex-policeman. Ex it was yes. the records. Fish Bindor, a resident of Piña Plata Island Garden City of Samal. And the third one kinakailangan sa punong tumalaman natin kung sino pumatay kay Papa. Kung sino talaga nag-frame up sa akin. Gusto ko rin patunayan kay Kuya Kaloy na wala akong kinalaman talaga doon. Siyempre ma para sa inyo. Tsaka para kay Sari. Wala akong ibang pinagsususpensya kundi si Ali Adelita. Kailangan ko siya mapa... As I pointed out that he was killed in 2002, Mr. Akdum. And yet, there is a record here by the NBI, an investigation report that shows Mr. Makdum died uh, in the year 2000, and that, that the record state further uh, that uh, uh, a case was filed, which was never mentioned here by Mr. Matubato, that the case was filed against him for kidnapping with murder. Is that correct, uh, NBI Director? Lang. For the record, kidnapping for ransom. Kidnapping, kidnapping for ransom. Lang. Wala pang murder. Uh, because that was, maybe that, that, that time. At that time? We, we, don't, we didn't know that he was uh, dead. At that time, hindi pa na-recover. Yeah. Was the body ever recovered? Uh, I had no knowledge, Your Honor, because after that, several months after that filing of the case, I was... Uh, I was transferred to, I, I was transferred now in Luzon, Bigan. You were there in Mindanao at that time? That time, sir, I was a Bigan. Uh -huh. uh, but several, uh, several months after, I was uh, uh, transferred to Bigan. Yes, okay. Let the record state that uh, Mr. Matabato, against records of the NBI, failed to state here that he is uh, has been charged with kidnapping with ransom by the NBI along with uh, three others, namely Custodio uh, and two others, uh, that will be Campo, Rodriguez, and Rodriguez. And, and none of those who, uh, who he accused were mentioned in that uh, information. Is that correct? All right. Uh, Man manifestation for the record, it may not have been mentioned by Mr. Matubato in the course of his testimony, but it forms part of my notes when I, was, I, when I interviewed him. A criminal case for kidnapping was filed against him by Makdum's live-in partner or wife, Mirasol Marquez. He may not have mentioned that during the course of his testimony, but it's part of my notes nung in interview ko po siya. Well, I did not say, I did a not say that it was, I did not say that it was part of your notes. I merely mentioned a, a fact that yes, we have just found out that uh, it is a fact that there is a case that has been filed against Mr. Makdum, uh, against uh, Mr. Uh, Matawato, uh, after, the, uh, after the, the fact that he, uh, Mr. Makdum died in the year 2000. And Mr. that... Those people, as I said, uh, were mentioned as part of his, uh, uh, as part of his, uh, the, uh, the principles or whatever it is, and also at the same time, none of the people that are here have been mentioned as having participated there. On the other hand, Mr. Matubato accused some uh, people here, including Art Lascana, uh, including uh, uh, Medina. Medina, and Aquino, and Tan Capote. Uh, as having been part of the people uh, who abducted and uh, killed him. 
In fact, ultimately he claimed that uh, uh, he was uh, garroted. Sinabi niya, binikti. Uh, Dilasta sa leg. Pero uh, of course, hindi niya sinabi niya kagad. Uh, sinabi niya, napapalit siya ng istorya. At pagkatapos, chilap-chap. Now, I just state that for the record. Now, uh, there's a manifestation by Secretary De Lima that he had, she had it in her notes. And uh, maybe it was an oversight on the part of Secretary De Lima that that information was not given to us at the proper time. Uh, Mr. Chair? I was about to... Yes. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Senator Laksan is recognized. I was about to ask, and I... It's not my intention to put the Senator De Lima on the spot. I would just like to know why she did not manifest since uh, that incident, including the charges filed against Motobato and uh, three others, nandun sa notes niya, bakit hindi siya nag-manifest noong tinatanong natin si Motobato? Siguro po hindi ko to nakita sa notes ko at the time when he was testifying. It's just now that I am reviewing my notes that napansin ko nga po na nandito. A criminal case for kidnapping was filed against me by Macdum's live-in partner, wife Mirasol Marquez. And tungkol din nga po dun sa... Kasi po, excuse me, uh, Senator De Lima. Kasi po, sana, kung na-manifest yun nun, baka hindi na natin na ipatawag itong mga pulis na nanggaling pa sa Davao, na yung iba, atin pa ng arraignment tomorrow morning, hindi ba? Hindi ba ito ba Including uh, SPO1 and the others. In, in, I remember naman po na it's not just about the Makdum incident na meron tayong hearing ngayon. I mean, uh, we are talking here about several incidents na minention ni Mr. Matubato. At yung tungkol kay Makdum, isa lang po yun. Marami ho talaga akong notes. Eh. I have e extensive Chair. notes. So, Na overlook ko lang po siguro itong impormasyon na ito. Well, and it, and it, even on the issue of the year 2000, I remember nagiging factual issue nga yun. In fact, if I remember correctly, it was also raised by Senator Ping na he is also casting doubt on the claim of 2002 as the date of the incident involving Makdum dahil 2002 nga daw po wala na yung PAOG TF. So palagi ko tayong bumabalik doon. Pag tinatanong ko po uli, pag tinatanong ko po si Mr. Matubato, sigurado ko ba 2002, yun daw po ang pagkakaalala niya. Because nga of that factual question na uh, maaring hindi 2002, maaring earlier than 2002 because nga wala na dapat pa OTF. But siya po kasi ang nagsasabi na ang pagkakaalala niya is 2002. So, nagiging issue rin po yun. Well, let me just point out that this is a vital piece of information, a very critical piece of information that should have been revealed here. And uh, out of uh, respect for Senator De Lima, I said it was an oversight yes. on our part. But this is a very, almost fatal oversight. Because as Senator Laxon had pointed out, we invited, for various reasons, uh, the policemen, and this is one of the major reasons. I remember, we dwelt on this case very, very badly, very, very severely. And at the same time, there was a television interview made of the wife, if I'm not mistaken, of uh, the common law wife of Mr. Uh, Matubato, where, uh, where she claims that, uh, of uh, Makdum, where she claims that uh, they paid 100000 as ransom. I just want to point that out, and that to me, that's a very vital information that was not informed. Senator Caetano, I'd like to give way to... Uh, just on the same point, and yes. just with the permission of Senator De Lima. Ma'am, you, you, you referred to your notes. Yes. May I just inquire, when did you interview um, Mr. Matubato? Two, September 2, and another date after September 2. Okay. I don't remember anymore the exact date. This was, ma'am, before the hearing? or Before after the hearing. hearing. Thank you. Before, Thank you, uh, Thank you Mr. Chair. Before September 15. Marami ho talaga akong notes. And then kasama nga ho sa sinasabi ni Mr. Batubato na tungkol dun sa alleged abduction na yan kay Macdum, nauna daw po siya sa Samal Island ng alas 6 ng umaga and then pumunta siya sa Karenderia doon sa Pena Plata Market and had coffee with Macdum. Yung iba daw po, dumating and arrested Makdum at around 7 in the morning. Kasama daw ho sa drama, 
na kunwari hinankaf din po siya. Tapos dinala sa Davao. Doon sa Paok TF office. Yun po ang claim niya. Mr. Chair, Your Honor, I have in my position, I have in my position, the counter of Pinabit of Edgar Matobato. Just to see. Yes. Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Meron po kayo. So, isubmit nyo rin po yun. Yes. Ano po yung sinasabi nyo? Excuse me na po. Mr. Chair, I have the copy of it of the counter of Pilabit of Mr. Edgar Matubato regarding the kidnapping of Macdum. You have a counter of Pilabit of Mr. Matubato? Yes, Mr. Chair. Right. Ito's kinasuhan. Uh, uh, saan niyo po nakuha yan? Sa, sa file po ito sa City Prosecution of Samal Island. Counter uh, of Pilabit po, yung kasi na-invite po siya doon sa PAOP TF. Na-invite sa PAOP TF as a suspect. I must say I'm very disappointed with Senator De Lima. I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Senator. I, I said uh, it was an oversight. But obviously, we're all lawyers here. That matter of information cannot be forgotten. Because no, after sir. all, uh, we're talking about Matubato, who has been very controversial. It would appear that in order to evade uh, the... Uh, light of uh, uh, scrutiny. He deliberately misled us to make it, to make us believe that he had no case, that in fact it was not he but other people, it and that it, it happened at a different date. And most of all, he implicated people here who, uh, per NBI investigation, are not even part of that investigation. Uh, this is very very fatal. And although I said it was an oversight, I. I must say that I would have to raise the degree of uh, condemnation, if you will, I because I, I am umbraged by it, because uh, this is a very piece, a strong piece of vital information. I'm sorry. And, uh, and uh, let me just say that, uh, as pointed out by Senator Luxon and Senator uh, Soto here, uh, we went off on a very big wild goose chase here, because uh, what happened was, uh, if we had known that, we may not have called all these people. But the point was, uh, Senator Trigana has also called uh, and filed a motion uh, to uh, file a resolution to investigate the Davao Dead Squad when uh, some of us were quite aware of the fact that uh, Mr. Matubato is uh, accused in a very, very serious case of kidnapping with ransom. And having said that, Mr. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my colleagues, I just want to read a note here. It says, boss, referring to me. I don't want to be called boss, but they keep calling me boss. I don't know why. Uh, Senator Trigliano's staff said that Matubato had to leave, so his security won't be compromised. I told this office we want to finish the Davao Police tonight to stand uh, so to start with CHR tomorrow, and he says they understand. I only got this note now, and that's why I'm very umbraced by it. Para bang nabuko na, biglang wala na. I don't know whether that's true, but uh, I hope that is uh, my, uh, my observation is wrong, but all of a sudden he has gone after uh, uh, we went to all the trouble of uh, trying to find out what's going on. Of course, this, that, this does not mean uh, I just want to ask a few questions now, if I may, with the NBI. Have you ever found the body of Mr. Makdum? Never. And that is why a while ago, I was asking what the height of uh, Sergeant or SPO4 Art uh, uh, Lascaña is. And uh, did I hear you say correctly, you're 5'4"? 5'5", five, Mr. Five, five. Five, five. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Chair. All Church. right. And then, of course, uh, I was asking about the height of Mr. Uh, Matobato, hoping that uh, now it gives you the chance to open. Does the NBI know what is the height of uh, of um, Sally Makdum? You don't have? We don't have the idea, sir. Can you find out? Because according to Mr. Matobato, binigti nila, asaba niya si... Sergeant Art 
Lacañas, Las Cañas, no? Eh, kung ganun kaliit si Matubato at malaki ito si Kwan, eh, siguro mahihirapan sila unless yung sinabi niya kasama niya na andyan. I'm just saying this out loud now because I, I am chagrin. I've been, I've been trying to be fair here uh, to everybody, going out of my way to stretch out. Uh, so I think that uh, the NBI must give us a copy of this document. And I'd like to have the sec concept tell me what uh, markings we have now because uh, every time you mark a document, you must tell the chairman so that we will know uh, the markings that we have. I also uh, did a suggestion of Senator Luxon, uh, instructed my staff, and we have been doing this before, but Senator Luxon just confirmed it, and I'm glad that he did, and along with Senator Soto, we are now lining up all the inconsistencies and the lies that were perpetrated upon this committee by Mr. Matobato. Mr. Uh, yes. Chairman, go ahead. Yeah, I would like to believe that, although I hate to admit this, that we were all taken for a ride by Mr. Matobato. And it's so frustrating that after all, we're not smarter than the first grader. I think that's an unfair conclusion. That's why we're holding this That's my this opinion, uh, Senator De Lima. That's an unfair conclusion. And that's why we, I am confronting this gentleman based on the notes that I have, based on my interview with Mr. Matobato. Siguro ho, mas maganda kung nandito pa nga ho si Mr. Matobato. And Problem to say is he also left. that we there is... We call for this policeman so he can be confronted or he can confront this policeman. But he left. And the orders on him was that he should stay so that at some point in time there would be a confrontation. We, that, we, that you will recall that this by order and I know that he was here. I thought he was still here. So probably we can, we can ask uh, Senator Trillanes why. We already did. We already did. But yes. according to him, he was afraid for the security uh, because obviously, pag nagkaalaman na ito, siyempre magagalit sa kanya yung mga taong tina, uh, sinasabihan niya. So, I don't know. I mean, this is really a very, very serious... Uh, I, we, could have thought, we could have thought of asking him to, to, to already face the, the rest earlier because he was here the whole day. Well, From 7 o'clock he was here. And I think, what, what time did he leave? Can we check what time they left? So he was here at 7 o'clock in the morning. As early as 7 o'clock in the morning, he was here. The order of the chair is that he must stay. That is the order of the chair. So that in case he will be needed, he will be presented. He has no business leaving the premises without telling the chair. Now, it just happens to be coincidental na nung umalis siya, lumabas kayo na itong nangyari ito. Hindi naman natin pinlano ito, pati ako nagulat ka. In fact, I was bending over backwards to say that uh, it was an oversight. I did not accuse anything. I did not make anything else out of it. I merely said it was an oversight on the part of Senator De Lima. But when I found out that he left, and according to him, he claims that his security would be compromised, I now have my doubts, I must confess. So, uh, I hope I, he's listening, I'm, and I I'm hope sorry. Senator Fignan is listening. I also instructed the, uh, the OSA to uh, try and get in touch with them to bring, them, bring him back here. Because, uh, obviously, uh, he has to answer for uh, lying to the committee, for misleading the committee. We take that seriously. I have always taken that seriously as chair of the Blue Ribbon Committee, and precisely we have detained people here uh, for lying to the committee. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. I, I feel uh, constrained or I feel compelled to, to react. There is some insinuation that there is some kind of a, what, I, I, I don't know how to, a deliberate concealment of fact. Now, I wasn't sure whether Mr. Matobato disclosed the f filing of the criminal case when he testified. Perhaps he did not. So I saw my notes. There is such a claim. Now the next question is, 
Probably he was not asked during the last hearing. And dito rin po sa notes ko, ang pagkakasabi ho dito ay kinasuhan ako ni Mirasol Marquez ng kidnapping pero hindi ito umusad uh, dahil walang record na pumasok ng bansa si Macdum at we were able to fix the case. Ito po ang nakalagay dito. So please, uh, let's be careful, let's be... Hindi po, wala po nanluloko sa inyo. Ako po, hindi po ako nanluloko no, sa inyo. We're accusing you, we're accusing Matobato of pulling this committee, lying through his teeth, and then uh, running away from it. Hindi uh, naman Mr. Siya. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, uh, alam mo yung natin bakit siya umalis. Kahit ako man, hindi na nga ako uh, pumunta sa training after ng session dahil... <laughs> Dahil nga dito sa dito dahil dito nga dahil pinatawag lahat ng mga inakusahan ni uh, ininvolved ni ni Matobato na mga pangalan at nandito na para magkaharap harap, harap at nang matapos itong investigasyon na ito dahil marami pa tayong dapat na i-discuss dito na na importansya para sa ating uh, sa ating gobyerno. Ipaano e, natin matatapos ito na siyempre kung anong isipin natin kahit sino ba namang tao tama yung uh, kay Senator Lacson kanina na parang pinagluloko lang tayo dito na ito na dito na eh nandito na dito na yung inakusahan niya dapat hindi siya umalis para matapos na ito hindi ma, hindi uh, hindi tatagal pa ng ilang araw itong itong usapan na ito dahil hindi naman ito taga, taga Manila ito eh, hindi madaling i-gather itong lahat ng mga tao na ito at siyempre ang isipin ko ay eh, nandito na ay eh, baka umiiwas siya ba baka lumabas yung katotohanan at umiiwas siya doon sa mga pagbago-bago niyang mga statement. We know na we know the fact that uh, in his first statement here in uh, in the Senate iba tapos nung pangalawa niya iba na naman yon contradict doon sa statement niya. Yun ang nag, nag, nang, ang problema ngayon hinirap itong mga tao dito nang galing pa sa malayang lugar eh buti kung sagot natin yung mga expenses nito nila sa kanilang uh, expenses ang, ang, ang gasos nila, malayo pa. So, kailangan natin matapos ka agad, mamarinig yung palig nila, nandyan si, ang, yung, uh, si, si Matobato, para hindi na tayo tumagal dito. At ang taong bayan, naghihintay na rin sa katotohanan. Yun po, uh, Mr. Chairman, na uh, for the record, na parang insulto sa atin yan, uh, all of us, all of us here, insulto sa atin yan, yung ginawa ni Matobato na Uh, I'm not uh, pointing uh, anybody here. All of us, tayo na nandito ngayon, mga senador, mga 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 uh, uh, nag-witness, uh, lahat ng mga kay, kay General uh, De La Rosa, at sa mga PNP natin na mar marami pang dapat gawin, eh, uh, uh, hindi nila nagawa yung nagampanan yung uh, trabaho nila dahil nandito tayo buong araw hanggang gabi. So, uh, yan yung... Uh, yan yung uh, 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 paningin ko, uh, Mr. Chairman, na uh, uh, parang parang insulto sa atin yan na uh, sinakripisyo natin yung mga dapat nating uh, importanteng gawin para lang dito sa isyo na to para matapos. Uh, let, me, let me commend uh, Senator Bacchiaro, Senator Lachson. I mean, Taylor takes note of the seriousness of the, the situation right now. I feel very much betrayed by it, quite frankly. Not by, not, not by, not by Mr. Matubado, but by our fellow senators here as well. Everybody knows that I was going to hold this hearing, that we were going to go as far as we can. In fact, we had a recess. We continued after lunch. We continued after the sessions. And then when we called in the, the, the uh, people from Davao, we had a recess. And he was still here at the time. But all of a sudden, when things, when the dam broke, he's gone. If The Director General of the PNP can spend the whole day and he's got a lot of things to do here. If the other officers of the, P of the PNP are here and stay the whole day with us, day and night, morning and evening, if Senator Bacchiao, who is about to have a title bout, and that is no laughing matter. I will have order in this chamber. It is no laughing matter. This is serious. We're dealing with a situation here 
that is very perfidious. I'm just trying to lay out the fact na tayo ay napapakasikap dito para lumabas lahat. At narinig nyo rin ang sinabi ko kahina. I was bending over backwards. Ayoko sabihin kay Senator De Lima na mali yung ginawa niya. Ang sabi ko, I will recall, I was very careful in my terms. I said it was an oversight. But when that came out, that Mr. Batubato has already left, pinahahabol ko, ang sabi niya, delikado raw yung kanyang, nakatagalog ko, makokompromise raw yung kanyang security, eh para naman nagsususpite siya ako na para bang pinakaisahan tayo dito. And that is why Mr. Chair, I cannot let that pass. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair may, Madam, is there an insinuation? That's not an insinuation, it is a fact. That we deliberately that is a fact allowed or we deliberately... I'm a lawyer. I didn't even know that he left already. I'm a lawyer and I know... I didn't even I know. I know that there are vital facts in my case when I'm presenting a case, when I'm presenting here, no, I have four or five people here telling me, in case I forget, what we reviewed. And something as significant as that, that a witness came here, accusing people here, that together with a sergeant, with the SPO4, he garroted, he chopped down a victim. And yet, we are in possession, one of our colleagues is in possession of a note that says he was charged by the NBI. That is material concealment. Uh, I cannot make that pass. Ko ako may hawak niyan, and I think I can speak for most lawyers, that concealment is really despicable. It is even unethical. And so therefore, I have to express my umbrage at this very, very bad situation. In fact, I hear Senator Luxon wants to terminate. terminate the proceedings here. I'm not even willing to do that yet. But you have a situation where a witness has flown the coup while everybody who has important things to do from the highest police official in the country to our fighter who is known as the Pambasang Kabao are here. And all of us, we were all aware, and you know, sinabi ko pa, when you work with me, we are going to finish this. In fact, I said three days, and I'm going to finish this. I want to finish this. I want to finish this. Then I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish this. Then 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 I'm going to finish this. Who have participated, allegedly have participated. Mr. Chair. Just deliberate. Uh, I, I'm trying to hold my, my, my temper here, but I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not going to be emotional here. I'm going to be deliberate. On your point, Mr. Chair, just yes. one minute. On the point of the chair and co chair, and uh, with the indulgence of my uh, colleagues, I think the committee can forgive, the PNP can forgive, the Filipino people can forgive that we were taken for a ride here. But, Mr. Chair, Yourself, Senator Luxon, in public, some of us in private have told the President, Sir, any statement you made is amplified nation uh, worldwide. But the problem, Mr. Chair, may I just put on record, because that uh, Mr. Matobato was allowed here without vetting him and without disclosing that case, BBC, CNN, New York Times, I think Washington Post put on their uh, front page and put on their show that the Philippine president is a mass murderer and put on their front page that the Philippine president fed his enemies to the crocodiles. That is, may I quote Senator Luxon's statement, that, this, that is toothpaste that is out of the tube that you cannot put back in. And I'm not saying this because the president was my running mate or because I am for the president, but because he represents the country. So, kung ang slinander ni Mr. Matubato ay si Senator Gordon or Senator Lacson or myself, we can forgive that, sir. Kasi, you know, it's hard. But may I just put on record, sir, that, you know, I don't know how, but I challenge this foreign media, now put on your front page, that this witness took also you for a ride because you printed it 
without checking first and cross-examining this witness. In fact, last point, Mr. Chair, some of these publications came out before Mr. Matobato testified here. That, that's just my point, Mr. Chair, and I, 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 I agree fully with what you feel. I'm also trying not to be uh, emotional, but I do not want the Europeans, the Americans, the Chinese, the Japanese thinking that this is the kind of country that we are running. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for this time. Mr. Chair, the yes, inquiry is not done yet. We are still establishing the facts. And there is a conclusion already that Mr. Matubato has been lying all along. Mr. Matubato has testified on a lot of things. So we're trying to determine which are factual, which are truthful, which are consistent with facts. Kung meron man pong mga yung mga sinasabing mga iba-iba, that's why we're trying to thresh it out. Kaya nga po tinatanong ko din po kayo. Pero wag ho kayong magbibigay ng conclusion na meron kami dito ang sinasadya Chairman, na pinapaalis, we'll make, pinapaalis we'll, ho namin we'll siya. Who made first the conclusion? Isn't it you and Senator Rillanes? Kayo kayo may conclusion ng una eh. That's why we allowed Mr. Matubato to testify and testify and testify kahit pabalibaligtad. We bent backwards. But this is a major issue that we, we are po. facing now. Pabalikin po natin Mr. Chairman, si Mr. Matubato kung yun po Mr. ang problema Chairman. natin. Hindi ko po matanggap yun na ganyan na may mga insinuasyon kayo na sinasadya namin na pinapaalis. Unang-una nga po, Mr. Hindi, Mr. Chairman, po naging... hindi ko po nalaman na umalis na. Kasi kanina pa nga siya dito. So anong oras, uh, more or less what time ho siya umalis? Not tayo so, pa eh. Ano siya? Special ba siya? But we, we better yes, ask Senator Trillanes. Kasi meron ho siyang explanation. He's under instruction But I was actually chair, waiting for him. him. May, may, Mr. Chairman, naging parehas ang investigasyon natin dito. Pinapaki, pinakinggan natin ang, minsa, ang, ang, ang statement ni, Mot, ni Matubato ng ilang, ilang hearings dito sa, sa, sa Senado at pinatawag natin itong uh, uh, mahigit uh, sampung uh, mga uh, witnesses pa para magbigay ng testimony, testimonya dito sa, 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 sa Senado galing pa sa ibang lugar, at ngayon, nandito na lahat dahil doon sa akusasyon ni, ni Matumbato, tapos laya, lalalaya, lal, lalayasan lang tayo dito na, para tayong, para, parang insulto sa atin yan, Mr. Chairman, na, na, na hindi man lang na pinatawag sa rito, hindi pa tayo tapos dito, tapos lalay, lalayasan lang tayo na hindi natin alam. I'm not, I'm not pointing uh, any senator here, hindi kami nag, hindi na ako nagano pero parang insulto sa atin ang ginawa ni Matobato. Paano pa natin i-continue itong investigasyon na ito? Paano matatapos ang investigasyon na ito para hindi ito biro na akusasyon ni Mat Matobato nakataya ang pangalan ng pangulo, nakataya ang pangalan ng ating bansa. Pinag tayo lang pinag pinag uh, alam niyo kung isipin po natin Mr. Chairman, tayo lang ang pinagtatawanan at pinag-uusapan hindi lang mang sa buong Pilipinas, kundi sa buong mundo. Yung mga foreign media, kung ano-ano ang sinulat nila nung si Motabato, nag-testify dito, nagbigay ng statement na papagubago, at ito, pinatawag natin yung mga, mga, mga sinangkot niya at uh, in-involve niya sa mga test sa testimony niya. Ngayon, pinatawag natin siya, nandito siya, umalis naman siya. Pa, anong, 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 anong isipin natin yan? Anong, 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 anong gagawin natin? Anong conclusion natin? Anong, anong magagawa natin uh, dahilan sa taong bayan para dito sa nangyayari na ito? Paano natin may pagpatuloy yung investigasyon, Mr. Chairman? All right. Even assuming for the sake of argument and given the, the gentle lady from Bicol the benefit of the doubt, even as, uh, believing that she was not part of this compromise or this charade, na wala siyang kinalaman dyan, it is incontrovertible that she was in possession of a note that she herself made.
that was so devastating, it could have been said, well, Matubato was lying here. That there was a case filed against him na pinailan siya ng NBI ng kidnapping with ransom. Abay, hindi biro yun, hindi yung... I detest, I detest the claim of material concealment. Hindi nyo naman po siguro i-expect sa akin na habang nagtetestify si Mr. Matubato ay lahat na lang na meron siyang sasabihin o hindi sasabihin ay ikaklarify ko po based on my notes. Ma'am. Hindi naman po unang-una, hindi po ako sigurado kung nasabi niya yun o hindi na merong case for kidnapping nung siya ay nagtetestify. Pangalawa, wala naman sigurong pagkakataon in the course of the questioning of Mr. Matubato at the time, whether on the 15th or on the 22nd, na may ilalabas ko dahil sabi ko nga, napansin ko nga ho yun ngayon. Because I have extensive notes, so I could not be expected na habang nagtetestify si Mr. Matobato, nung 15 tsaka nung 22, ay makukorek ko lahat o maisusupply ko po yung impormasyon based on my notes. So please, I strongly, I strongly protest the claim that there has been a material concealment. Kasi ang pinag-uusapan natin dito yung insidente. Meron hong kinikwento si Mr. Matobato. I was not expected to be Whatever is stating, is manifesting is all the information, all the notes that I have when Mr. Matubato was testifying. Okay, uh, yeah, if you are trying to separate up tayo pang may kasalanan dito, kami pang may kasalanan dito, naniwala kami, na ganun na nga nangyayari. Uh, Perhaps he wasn't asked, he was never asked about that. Well... I mean, Mr. Chairman, you know, this is not we didn't that ask because we did not know, pass. but you knew. But I, have I, I said only this noticed it kani kanina lang po when I was reviewing my notes. Excuse me. Uh, because Senator I have Delima. extensive notes. Mr. Senator Delima, I already said, even presuming for the sake of argument and giving you the benefit of the doubt, na hindi ka kasama dito sa nangyaring ito, the very fact that you had information while this was going on, it could not come across your mind that you had information na sa lungat do sa sinasabi ng Matubato rito. Habang nasasabi ka si Matubato rito... Ano po bang sa lungat? May I please continue? I have given you so much leverage here. I have allowed you an extended amount of time. I have even allowed Matubato, and I, I didn't have to do that. I even allowed Matubato, and I did not postpone anything here. When I took over this committee, we will continue. We got all your witnesses here. And we called all the witnesses here, all the testimony, all the motions. We allowed. So please give me some leverage. Give me some latitude here. The point that I want to make here, salungat yung sinasabi do sa nalalaman mo na nasa note mo na si Matabato pala ay may kaso ng kidnapping for ransom in the case of Sally Makdum. Salungat yung sa sinasabi niya na ang pumatay kay Makdum, tinulungan niya ay si SPO4 at si SPO4 na Las Canyas Las Canyas si at saka yung iba at siya rin ay kasama eh ano ang conclusion na masasabi ko dyan lalabas na meron kang note doon na very very significant that could change the tide of opinion of judgment of conclusion kaya hindi mo maalis na ako Mr. Chair ay basta green Talagang ako ang feeling ko betrayed because up to up to a while ago I said kalmado lang we'll give you every all the all the things that you have and how can you say how can anybody say we already conducted the hearing last time all the way up to 8:30 in the evening I was prepared till hell freezes over na tapusin you heard me apologize to the police earlier that you have been here you heard me apologize to all the witnesses that we've been calling here. So, Batubato has no call to leave the Senate. I'm Mr. Chairman. Uh, I will just finish. If he left the Senate, he should have asked permission. You all heard me say the other day, we are going to hold you there and force. 
if you come along, we would like. Now, the time has come. There is contrary evidence, contrary to what you said previously, and we just discovered it. And Senator De Lima has also admitted the statement of the NBI that there is a case that has been filed. So, tatawagin natin siya ngayon. Yan ang oras, yan ang timely. Iharap mo siya dito, para sa ganun, masalungat siya. Eh, umalis siya eh. Umalis siya eh. Ano ang conclusion namin? Mr. Chairman, may, yes, may, may ahead, a, a manifestation. It was not the call of Mr. Matobato. It was my call since I was providing protective custody to Mr. Matobato. And uh, based on the assessment of my security officers, it was prudent to, uh, to make him leave instead of uh, traveling late at night. So I, uh, I uh, made that judgment call. And remember, Mr. Mr. Chairman, I was the one who suggested that uh, they do this confrontation at the start of the hearing. So there was no intention na iwasan yung ganitong confrontation. So it was my call. And anyway, uh, I'm the one providing protective custody to the witness. So uh, that's it. Ngayon kung may itatanong tayo sa kanya, tomorrow morning, I believe it won't hurt. Um, he will be here as uh, scheduled. So, what's the, 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 the fuss, Mr. Chairman? Uh, the least you could have done, Senator Chilianes, if you are going to ask me, is to manifest that you've been here all the time and you're not here, is to tell and manifest to this committee that, sir, Mr. Chairman, if you do not need us for tonight, I'd like permission to have my witness leave. For the first time, you're acknowledging that you are protecting the witness. Yes. I did not know that. Oh, no. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I've been, been telling you the past several... Oh. Since the time you assumed, oh, uh, as Chairman, I told you up front that in the meantime, I'm the one providing protective custody. So uh, when you ask who will bring the witness here, I told you up front that uh, since I'm the one protecting uh, the witness, I, you it's recall, my responsibility. You will recall, to sir. Yes, Mr. Chairman. That at the beginning of the first hearing, when Mr. Matabato, the, uh, Matabato came up, yeah. I asked both of you who is presenting this witness. And none of you said, I am. Well, I'm aware of the fact that you accompanied him later on at night, when he left at night. You are also aware of the fact that when he came here, unlike the first hearing under Senator De Lima, he was not protected legally. He had no counsel. We went over backward to provide him with counsel. He was so, assisted for, you had a counsel, CHR counsel. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I was just informed that uh, Mr. Matobato told this, uh, this committee during the first hearing that a case was filed against him as a result of the Matobato abduction. So, we, we can review the, the, the transcript, Mr. Chairman. Iyan po ang sinasabi ko kanina. I don't even, I don't remember kung meron pong sinabi tungkol dyan. I, I, I really, I'm so sorry, Mr. Chair, but I really detest the claim of material concealment. Ano ho ba yung sinasabing salungat sa sinabi niya? Wala naman po sigurong sinabi si Matobato na walang kasong finile sa kanya. Ah, Mr. Chairman. So, ano ho ba yung salungat? Na, uh, because ah, Mr. Chairman, I, I already I have the transcript. Tell me that hindi sa lungat yung sinabi niya. Ah, Mr. Chairman, I already have the transcript. Let me let me answer first, uh, Senator Senator De Lima. Anyway, you have to look for that. Meron pa lang. He came down here and accused everybody. And kunyari siya ang hero na he's testifying against all the others that went with him to kill Bakdum. Now, it turns out that you have a note that you concealed to the committee. Oh, Mr. Chairman, precisely, it was not concealed. If you yeah. would uh, uh, allow me to manifest, on page 166 of the September 15, 2016 uh, hearing, I quote the Chairman, Senator De Lima, Okay, yung pagpatay kay Sally Macdum, pinaninindigin nyo ba iyon na mayroon kayong pinatay na tao na pangalan Sally Macdum? 
Mr. Matobato. Opo, ma'am. Kasi pinailan ako ng kaso, ma'am, ng kidnapping kang Sally McDoom. Hindi ko sila tinuro. Parang inako ko rin. Pinailan ako sa NBI. So what is that? So after all the rants and accusations, I believe uh, Senator Dilima deserves an apology, Mr. Chairman. Uh, what apology are you talking about? I demand apology. There is apology. no need an apology because you have the information. You had the information the from the very beginning. The committee, Mr. Chairman. From 2002. 2002. Would you please don't melt down, please? You're melting down. No, sir. No, sir. Because the charge was 2002. Si Macdum pinatay. Ngayon lumabas 2000. We had to go chasing all these phantom ghosts. We had to. We sir, have to ask uh, people here. Sir, We're not wasting the time of the people here, you know. Pagunda rin tayo lahat eh. Mr. Chair, one issue at a time. Hindi ho ba yung pag-aakusan niyo sa akin na merong material uh, concealment Chairman, has to do Chairman, with the filing of the case. Kaya po sinasabi ko po kanina, alamin muna natin kung nasabi ba yon o tinanong kay Mr. Matubato tungkol dyan sa pag-file. Kasi, hindi rin po ako sigurado. In the meantime, before checking the TSN, you're accusing me, or you have accused me this committee was made material to material concealment. Walang concealment dahil nabanggit naman po ni Mr. Matubato. Kaya pala nandun yun sa notes ko. Kasi, nabanggit naman. Nabanggit nung interview ko sa kanya, Nabanggit pala during testimony. So where is the material concealment on the part of Senator Delima? It pains me to be accused well, of material concealment. There's no me, material concealment because it was mentioned. It was mentioned. So there's nothing. There's nothing there's to be there's nothing to disclose to the body after the witness had disclosed it. Mr. Chair, can I shed yes, light on that, please? Yes, go ahead. So, Mr. Chair, the uh, Senator Trillanis is correct in the sense that uh, Mr. Matubato said that finailan ng NBI. But hindi po yun yung concealment eh. Pinailan po sa piskalya. And ang fiscal, ito po, and the fiscal po, nag-submit pa nga ng affidavit, ng counter-affidavit si, um, si uh, Mr. Matubato at ito pa nga nakalagay sa kanyang uh, counter-affidavit. In the morning of November 9, 2000, Eric was with three companions who I never met before. They look like the military. Uh, Mr. Chair, if you check the, the transcript, paulit-ulit po si Mr. Matubato na 2002, Paulit-ulit siya na yung mga polis na sinasabi niya ang pumatay at, at uh, nung sinabi lang sa NBI, hindi niya sinabi na merong kaso sa piskalya ng Samal. Nandito po, siya mismo nag-file ng uh, counter affidavit. No? So to the, to the chairman's point, there were things that at the very least were not revealed to the committee. But may I yield to Senator Pacquiao? I think he has a... Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, I believe uh, we're now splitting hairs. Uh, initially, your accusation was very, very clear that he did not... Oh, I'm not withdrawing it. Not on your life, boy. Oh, well, uh, I'm not withdrawing Well, you're mistaken, uh, no, and you're no, showing no. your bias, Mr. Let chairman. Mr. 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 You're showing your clear. bias as the chairman. Bias? And, uh, bias. Mr. Mr. The, Mr. Chairman, the, the apology well, is uh, warranted. An apology is warranted, Mr. Chairman. I will Mr. tell chairman. you the concealment. I, Mr. I will tell you the concealment. I could not have concealed it because it was disclosed already. Okay, I will let you melt down and have the floor. All you want. And since no apology is forthcoming, I'm walking out. Because clearly, uh, me, there was me, no concealment on my part because it was disclosed already. Disclosed? I'm walking out. It was disclosed by the witness. So what is there to conceal? It was disclosed. The record is very clear. You know, I remember when we were... So I... I remember when we found out a while ago, since you were no very meek as a lamb. You know, I didn't know. I had it in my notes. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not know. I didn't say that. No, no, you were very meek as a lamb. And remember that I was not 
holding. That's why I, I was said. I the chair on the first. You were the first. That's and why I said. You, the concealment was done, perhaps not by Matubato, because I was not here at the time, but the concealment was done by you. Because when Matubato, be when Matubato was testifying, don't you think it was incumbent upon your part to say, I have information that this guy has been fired. Can we call on the NDI to produce that testimony? Mr. Matubato has already said that, uh, the, uh, Mr. Matubato has already said Mr. that Chairman, a case Mr. was Chairman. filed In against fact, him. Out of respect for everybody, I will say I am working on Mr. Chairman. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry for you then. Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Uh, Chairman, uh, may I recognize Mr. Chairman? Yes. Senator Pascual. Senator Pascual. Pa Senator uh, Pacquiao. Point of hunger. Go ahead. Mr. Chairman, when we started uh, conducting this um, Senate hearing for this uh, extrajudicial killings, we call uh, Matubato. Nag-testimony nag siya rito. Yung testimony na nung first hearing at yung pangalawang hearing, lahat ng mga testimony niya ng pangalawang hearing, anong unang hearing, nung pangalawang hearing, salungat doon sa unang testimony na yung pangalaw, pang, uh, unang hearing. Ngayon, lahat ng mga lahat ng mga testimony na, testimony niya Lahat ng mga isiniwalat niya rito na sabi niya para maniwala sa kanya at ang laki na ng damage sa ating bansa, no? Sa ating bansa doon sa ibang bansa kung ano ng mga balita na na nakarating doon sa kanila, Mr. Chairman. Ano nang image ng bansa ng Pilipinas natin? Kaya kaya naman pinatawag natin ito itong mga ibang witness na to, itong nadawit at binanggit ni Matabato sa kanyang uh, testimonya. Ang ang testimonya ni Matabato hindi consistent lahat nagbago-bago. Lahat pa bago-bago, Mr. Chairman. Nung pinatawag natin lahat ng na mga lahat ng mga binanggit niya doon sa uh, sa kanyang uh, mensahe, sa kanyang testimony. 
gusto natin siya, nandito rin siya. Ngayon, inalisan naman tayo, nilayasan tayo. E parang napakalaking insulto para sa atin yan, Mr. Chairman, at sa lahat ng nandarito ngayon, at sa buong Pilipinas. No, sa mga lahat ng tao, insulto masyado yan sa atin. Mr. Chairman, and then, I think doon sa mga previous previous uh, hearing, committee hearing, nakita natin yung inconsistency ni uh, ng, ng ng kanyang testimony ni Matobato para makumpirma natin pinatawag itong labing lima o labing anim na mga testigo na binanggit niya at sinangkot niya doon sa kanyang testimonya at ngayon gusto nating iharap ngayon nilayasan tayo i think mr chairman this is not a uh, manifestation but i want to move to terminate this uh, Uh, to terminate this uh, committee meeting because this is uh, useless. This is useless if, if always like that, Mr. Chairman, na, na hindi sila ang mga nilayasan tayo lahat. Ayaw nilang harapin itong... Nandito, pinatawag natin sila dahil gusto natin maging parehas, maging pantay, ang batas natin, ang pag-imbestiga natin dito sa, sa ating bansa, sa ating, sa, sa, sa ating committee ba. Mapapakinggan ang panig nung sinangkot niya, mapapakinggan ang, ang, ang uh, nag-accuse na si Matobato para may balancing tayo, mapanood, marinig ng buong sabay ng Pilipino. And yet, what happened? Parang, parang insulto sa atin niya, nakakahiya naman, nakakahiya sa atin. Nakakahiya sa atin. Sir Chair. No? Uh, nakakahiya sa atin, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, na, na ganyanin tayo, parang uh, isahan tayo, sabi nga ni uh, Senador uh, Lacson, Naisahan tayo ng grade 1. Naisahan tayo. <laughs> Mr. Chair, before we ask on that, Mr. Chair, I am sad that we are ending this way, but let me congratulate you that you ferreted out the, the, the truth. Subject to the committee report and subject to the assessment of everything that has been uh, um, testified here, I second the motion of, Mr. of uh, Senator Pacquiao that we terminate the hearings on these resolutions in committee uh, and on the privileged speeches given. You know, there's nothing better that I'd like to do now than to terminate it. That is why I was committed to, to uh, doing it in three days up to tomorrow and the day after. But I was already trying to make it a point to finish it by tomorrow. Out of respect for our fellow senators, I wanted to do all that. Uh, and you are all witnesses of the fact that this representation has bent over backward for many, many things that have gone on. We have even extended the time for Senator De Lima, even for our senators here, uh, when they had the point. There is no other agenda here but the truth. But the truth suffers when a senator relies on the testimony of a very, very wishy-washy uh, witness, and I'm not making a judgment here, because what, what we have seen, there are so many things that have been said about this man And that is very, very sad because we did not present the witness. It was Senator De Lima who presented this witness from the very beginning. The very fact that I even refused to handle this, to be transferred to my committee, to my, my committee, I, I, I'm overloaded, but it's fine with me. I've been overloaded before. But my point is simply this. When we wait here, and I will reiterate once again, you will recall that we were apologizing even to the, uh, all the resource persons here because You know, what time is it? When was the last time you saw the Senate working at 10.25 on a committee hearing? This is the second time. Previous one, we had a seven and a half hours hearing up to 7.30. There is a sense of urgency here because the nation is hanging by its tenter hooks. Because serious allegations have been made here by a witness. And if you will recall, ang lumalabas nga sa ating basa ngayon, sino ang pinaka controversial na witness na kriminal? Sa baba, criminal na testify Dito, criminal rin pala na testify And so, nag-iingat ako maigi na we will not be the laughing stock of this country. You heard me say that we have not thrown the rule of law out of the window. Na at least dito sa Senado, tinutuloy natin. In fact, just a while ago, I'm sorry she left. I told her, relax lang. I'll give you all. I'll give you all the latitude. Don't get emotional. That's why... I apologize. Ako na magtatanong para hindi ka, apologize, uh, mag, uh, hindi ka masyadong mainit. The very fact that we came out, you see, you see my, my mind was escalating. I felt really betrayed because after all that, you know, I was not here in the first hearing. If, totoo, 
na sinabi niya na sabi ni Matabato na siya ay may kaso na kidnapping for ransom based on this particular witness by the name of Makdum. Eh bakit pa natin pinayagan tumuloy na mag-testify at magtuturo ng kung sino-sino rito at sinabi pa nakasama ito si uh, uh, si Art uh, Nakanyas at yung iba at iba-iba pa sinasabi niya kung paano pinatay humaba ng humaba eh tapos nung pinipresenta natin dito sabi ko sa lahat itutuloy natin to tatapusin natin ang kapulisan this guy had no business leaving of course at the least that uh, our friend Senator Tagliaris could have done was come and say, Mr. Chairman, we have to leave already. Okay, if we have to leave, then fine, at least we would know. But it came at a very bad time. It came at a bad time when all of a sudden, the NBI comes out with a statement saying, Oi, meron kaso sa amin yan. At lahat tayo nagulatal. At sinabi, ano yung kaso? Ayun na nga, sinabi, may kaso na kidnapping uh, with ransom. At pagkatapos, biglang nasabi after the short break, sabi ni Senator De Lima, very meekly, like a lamb, saying, ay, nakalimutan ko, it's in my notes. That to me is very material. Because kung sinabi niya from the very beginning yan, hindi na tayo nagagilap ng kahit sino-sino pang tatawagin natin dito. We would have asked right away, o oh, ikaw ba? We would have grilled him. I would have grilled him if I had been here. On kidnapping for ransom. Why should we believe you? Because ikaw ay may kaso da, laban dito sa taong ito. I was even laying the predicate na dapat malaman natin kung anong height ni Makdum to find out na talagang masyadong malaki para dito kay Mr. Uh, Matabato na napakalit at saka ni 5'5 uh, na si Art Lacandas para sakalin siya at tagtarim pa kahit na maraming kasama kung malaki well, hindi natin na hindi natin tayo mabot doon. Up to that time, walang gulo. Lumabas lang, nung narealize ko, eh bakit mo kinukonsil? Nasa iyo pala yan. Meron pala. Bakit kailangan pang lumabas? Right away, nung sinabi ng NBI na siya ay may kidnapping for ransom case, dapat sinabi na kagad ni Senator De Lima, oh, may kidnapping for ransom. Alam ko yan, eto na. Hindi. Dahan-dahan sinabi. Dapat nung sinabi ni Matubato na siya ay may kidnapping for ransom, because of so many inconsistencies in his testimony, siguro hindi na halata. I was not here. I don't know. If I had known that, I would have gone after that. But the point was, nung tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang ebidensya, nung lumabas siya, lahat tayo nagulat, at kahit anong sabihin mo na hindi mo, hindi mo sinasadya, siyempre, lahat tayo pagod na, lahat tayo naghintay, lahat tayo naiya sa mga testigo. May text ako, pinakita ko pa kay Senator Lacson at saka kay Senator uh, Soto, o tingnan mo, sinasabi na ng tao, tapusin na natin to. Kailangan tapusin natin to. That is my point. And that is why I tried very hard, as much as possible, to give leverage. To give, uh, to give uh, latitude. Now, to walk out on a committee is cowardice. To come out with a press release after walking out on a committee and not settling the issue here, because we could have called a suspension. I was ready to call a suspension when she started when Senator Trillanes arrived, lumakas na ang loob ni Senator De Lima at nagsisigaw na siya rito, well, sorry na lang. We could have I suspended it and said, all right, oh, sige, napaliwanag na, okay, kalmado tayo. But no, it was an opportunity knowing that it was becoming futile. Each witness here, lahat tinanong, and we predicted it, did we not? We predicted that when you brought in these people from Davao, they're not going to say, I did it. They're not going to say, there is a death squad. Kung totoo man yon. You predicted that. It is incumbent upon anybody who presents a witness here that there must be corroborating material. There must be corroborating evidence. As it was, the tables were suddenly turned when suddenly all of you were asking that we get a copy of the NBI investigation report na ipakita rito para may hawak tayo. So, I am not going to back down on that concealment. Maybe, hindi nag-conceal si Matubato. Ang nag-conceal si Senator De Lima because alam niya pala noon pa na meron siyang notes na dapat sinabi niya. And she could have said that later on. The point of issue here, ladies and gentlemen, is that, like I said, we are after the truth here. 
I don't think you can accuse this chair of bias because we have been very fair. You heard me say what I said about Senator, about President Duterte kanina. You know, people are saying, Oy, ang tapang mo. Baka sa ikaw ang barilin dyan, ikaw ang sabihin dito ni, ng mga ng mga tao na sinasabi ng mga Duterte. Alam nyo naman yung mga Duterte people. Ang sabihin na, oh, ba't yun hindi naman presidente namin? I said that in all honesty, as a citizen of this country, conscious of the fact that I could earn the ire of the President, and said, do not talk too much, Mr. President. Huwag kayo magsalita ng marami because you are falling on your own sword. Ang laki ng tiwala sa inyo ng tao, pinuputol nyo ang sarili nyong paa every time you talk because kayo ay nagogold kung magkamisan pinaglalaban ng media yung inyong kalooban at yung kaisipan na dapat mawala talaga yung drugs. You have heard me say in my Facebook, do not kill people, kill drugs! You have heard me say to no less than Director General Tabato, uh, uh, General uh, 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 ang dami kasi bato eh, uh, De La Rosa, De La Rosa, na sabi ko, you have no immunity. <laughs> I've said that a long time ago. So, wala akong pina, I am not walking on eggs for anybody. I am trying to be fair to everybody. But I am not going to sit down calmly when we all waited here para sabi ito at ilalabas natin yung testigo para magkaalaman na, para malaman na katotohanan. Kung lumabas tama yung testigo, siguro nasolve ka agad dyan. Eh. Pero wala eh. Ang sabi ko, palinaw, you are going to stay here because we may call you later on. Well, you can all talk about what could have been, but that is the way it is. In that light, there are requests now and motions to stop this hearing. My own personal opinion, we will not stop. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we will uh, not stop. And my own personal opinion, if I could stop and say, Tama na, masyado na magulo, masyado na marasalimut. There are CHR uh, uh, people that want to be here tomorrow, we will listen to them. And I even asked permission kanina, sa inyo kung anong gagawin. I wasn't doing anything on my own. But we will continue, tatapusin natin yung bukas, if necessary, another day, but no more. And that's it. We will make a decision. This representation can make a decision on the findings with the help of the committee. I cannot release anything here without the signature of every member of the committee because yan ang ilalabas sa floor. Having said that, therefore, I would like to all a caucus tomorrow or even right after this to find out what the sense of the committee is because uh, I think that it is important that the public and the country is able to communicate the message, hey, we did not throw the rule book out of the window. There is still the rule of law. People may think that they are being killed here. I wanted, if you will recall, to call the policemen first, to call the general first, because I wanted them to say, Ano ang gagawin nyo? I have taken great pains, and I will give you a sample of what I've done. If you look at the, at the, uh, at the uh, PowerPoint, I have try to get data on every province, every city where killings have been undertaken. Because I intend to ask General De La Rosa and the other generals here what they're doing about a situation where ang dami namamatay, that is still has to be handled. We're not saying people are being killed by the police, we're just saying that has to be addressed because that is an issue before us here. And if we follow that, I know na pag pinayagan natin ang police papatay, alam ko, alam ni, Sen. ni General De La Rosa ito, pag pinayagan mo ang police pumatay, nang pumatay, nang pumatay, based on drugs, based on that, then the next thing, you know it, the policeman will be a vigilante on his own, killing people who may be decent, killing people who may, they may disagree with, killing people for political assassination impact, and all that. That is why this hearing is very, very important. We have to show that we can fix the problem. We must go beyond fixing the blame. Because that is what we're here for. That is what we're elected for. To fix the problem, not to fix the blame. But we must do so in a very frank, candid, collected manner that we can solve the problem together. I would have loved to solve the problem with Senator De Lima. But right now, she's busy conducting a press conference. I'm I am Chairman. sorry for you. I'm Mr. Chairman. I cannot, uh, I cannot, I cannot condone that. I've been in the Senate for six years. 
I've served this country as a constitutional convention delegate at the youngest age. I was the youngest. I was mayor. I was mayor ahead of Senator of uh, President Duterte. I was mayor in 1980. He was mayor in 1988. I know where he's coming from. I was also uh, secretary. I, I also fixed up a base that they was left by the Americans with us, and we did it honorably. And we fixed up to listen, and we did it honorably again with great pride. And I've been in the Senate. We came out with laws that are important to my country, such as the election law, such as the tourism law, such as the international humanitarian law, among many others. But I will not allow any person, be he a senator, be a president, to get away with flouting the law or trying to do a double, double talk so that they can get away with something that they want because it is personal to them and it is not for the benefit of our country. And so, uh, dear colleagues, I am going to uh, uh, suspend the hearing. We will have a caucus tomorrow. We will report to the, uh, Mr. Chairman. the Senate, and we will lay it down the line. Uh, if an ethics charge is going to be done, then let it happen. Uh, Mr. Because Chairman, I have a very important uh, if manifestation. the gloves are off, and I'm ready to take the gloves off. I respect, I respect the Senator. You've heard me. You have seen me treat them. I respect Senator Julianis. You are senators. You have the right to speak here as yes, much as you want. But you do not have the right to conceal things, especially material things. Okay, Mr. Chairman, you know, uh, it's uh, material yes. to the issue at hand. In addition to the uh, transcript that I read earlier, page 166 of the September 15 hearing presided by Senator De Lima, on page 81, 8081 of the September 22, 2016 hearing presided by uh, the chairman, Senator Gordon. Senator Caetano, okay, paano sir ngayon dinedenay na terrorist si Makdum? Wa man record, there's no record that he's a terrorist or wanted. Mr. Matobato, kaya nga sir, pinailan ako ng kidnapping sir, na dismiss yan sir, kasi si Sally Makdum backdoor. Backdoor yan, sir. Si Sally Macdum, walang record sa embassy, sir. Walang record. So, Mr. Matubato was truthful in his testimony and the chairman himself. And I can understand, Senator Gordon, I can attribute that to memory lapse because uh, Mr. Matubato, once in a while, would have memory lapses just like uh, every other person. So dito sa transcript, both transcripts, walang concealment. And, uh, and it was gi given directly to the chairman. So you cannot... Uh, September 22, Senator Gordon, by backdoor, ibig niyong sabihin, walang record na pumasok siya dito. So you even discussed the issue. So th that's why I keep on referring to the transcript kasi... Binabali baliktad minsan yung uh, ano yung uh, yung facts. You, people may be entitled to their own opinion, but they're not entitled to their own facts. Right, and every uh, conclusion made earlier na tama itong mga uh, mga nandito na resource persons natin, tas mali si Matobato, is a matter of opinion. And I totally disagree. And I believe there is a uh, multitude of people who would agree with my assessment and my position as well, Mr. Chairman. Well, I don't care about the multitude who agrees with you. I respect them. I may not care about what the multitude says because sometimes there are people here who say, go, there go my people, I must follow them. Leaders follow what is in their minds. Leaders follow what is in the best interest of the country, irrespective of whether it's popular or not. Let me just say one thing, though. The, the focus on, on Matubato at the time was he claimed that Sally was killed because he was a terrorist. You know, pinapalabas siya, pinatay, terrorist. And he, he, he resided if memory serves correct. Na, yung mga kinakasama niya, sinabi rin siya, terrorist, kaya pinatay nila. Pinadescribe pa natin kung paano niya pinatay. Pero sabi niya, meron siyang kidnapping case. Well, that was in passing. Pero for a senator to hold information, no, it to hold this information, let me, let me finish. To hold information that he had it in her notes that there was already an NBI and a case has been filed in the fiscal's office that McDoom 
in the first place was supposed to have been killed in 2002 when in fact he was killed in the year 2000. To come here, and how can you blame the whole committee when he says some policemen were involved here, then those policemen turned out to be not even policemen at the time they were being accused. Hindi pa sila police, like Mr. Medina over there. Or for that matter, somebody else here as well. They're not even policemen. And dami dami mga mismatches and ano another mis uh, 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 information na lumalabas. So, pinalampas natin yan, pinalampas natin yan. Pero for a senator to hide something, and I can remember kayo I was on her side. Sabi ko, oversight lang yan. Mr. Luxon wanted to terminate it. Oversight lang yan. Kailan ako pumuto, kailan ako na-disappoint. Na Nung lumabas na talaga, na meron talaga material concealment because that should have been told the committee. That should have been told a fellow senator. Dick, senator, ding, meron ako dito na ito pala ay may kaso sa NBI at talagang ay file pa yung kaso. That is material. In any language, that is material. Sa transcript, makakalusot siyan, pero kung may information ka, you have the duty to tell the truth here. And that is where I'm going to say now. In that event, I will now suspend with apologies uh, to uh, all the policemen here once again, headed by General, uh, General uh, De Deputy Dir Director General uh, De La Rosa and all the others, the NBI, uh, the other generals who came from Davao, and even to the policemen and to all the witnesses here and to all those listening to us. I think it is important that we suspend it for the moment. I will not issue any statement to the press because that is not my purpose here. Some people come here in this country and they want to talk to the press all the time. I have not called anybody about any statement that I have made here. Whatever I have, it's been open. It's in my Facebook account. So I'm a very open man. So in that case, uh, having said that, uh, with the permission of Senator Caetano, and uh, well, okay, uh, the Majority Floor Leader. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. May I just reiterate the, the, the pressing issues being faced by the uh, PNP leadership so the, we don't need them tomorrow. We can summon them if it's important, but we can excuse them for tomorrow's hearing. Uh, Mr. Chairman? Yes, uh, with the reservation that I would like to get their uh, thoughts on the matter of plebs uh, formally, that has already been uh, given by Under Secretary uh, uh, Catalino Ayo, and of course uh, uh, the matter of uh, internal uh, affairs. From day one, I've been looking at the remedial legislation that has to be done, meaning to say that we must limit the time upon which they can make the report, that our civilian chairman be immediately appointed because the last thing that you want is intrigue. That's why we have avoided that. We, have, we, we, we could have hidden these people in an executive session. We did not. Because pag-uusapan lang. Kaya ang internal affairs dapat mabilis kagad na magagawa. Nakikita nyo rin sa ibang bansa na lumalabas kagad pag may nabaril yung pulis, lumalabas kagad on television. Kaya ang lahat, ang mayor, ang mga tao doon, sinasabi kagad kung ano nangyari kagad. That is what people want. People want to know bakit hindi napipigil you're riding in tandem. Yung mga ganyan, yan ang mga sinasabi natin na pwedeng ibigay sa atin ng kapulisan kung paano masosolve yan, kung kailangan nila ng tinatawag na camera on the vest, camera on the car, dashboard, para malilimit ang, ang tentasyon na pumatay ng tao. Hindi naman pulis na pumapatay. Dapat ibigay natin bakit yung mga drug lord, ilan lang napapatay. Eh, kung talaga yun ang ginagawa. And we're not condoning killing people. We just want to know bakit pagpaliwanag ang iba dyan kung sino-sino pa yung drug lord na nakikita natin sapagkat yun ang lumalabas. So having said that, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, my dear colleagues, uh, I would like to ask in what direction the police want to get help from the Senate, in what direction the other agencies like the NBA, the NBA want to get help, and uh, in the meantime, we will call on the NCR tomorrow. They've been waiting. Uh, and I'm sorry, the uh, CHR and also uh, uh, other possible witnesses that have been called here. Unfortunately, natakot yung sa ating CDO na nakilala si Matubato. I think we should try and call him. Uh, if the gloves are off, then let it come off. We should try and call him because he said, yan ang nagtangkang pumatay sa akin. And so... Uh, 
Senator Caetano, by, with your permission, unless you want to say something else, I would like to adjourn this for a while, uh, uh, suspend this for a while, and thank everybody here. What do we do with all these uh, people from the police department of Davao? Mr. Uh, Chairman, uh, uh, may I recognize Mr. Chairman? Yes, please go ahead, uh, Senator Pagel. Uh, Mr. Chairman, there is no, uh, I think, uh, and I believe that there is no reason to continue this uh, committee meeting tomorrow. Uh, what we need, I think, uh, to all the members of, uh, of this committee, uh, we should uh, caucus first to continue to talk about to if uh, we continue the, the committee meeting tomorrow. Uh, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. I, I was about to say before you were to spend that I will submit to you, but I just wanted to manifest I also have the other inconsistencies. I, do, I, I agree with you. I want to hear the police. I want to hear the CHR, and they can submit it to, to us. But I also firmly believe, Mr. Chair, with all due respect, that we should set an example that uh, you know, a witness like Matubato cannot be brought here and fool us and this, and then a senator cannot walk out, then expect the next day we'll just continue. But uh, again, you have led this committee fairly, so I do not want to... Uh, oh, I'm, I'm I, listening to everybody here. Yes. So I, I, I do agree with the motion uh, of uh, Senator Pacquiao, but I, I'm sure we will follow you unless you agree to... Uh, the, the motion, Mr. Mr. Chair, is not for us to come up with a decision, but just to terminate this part of the investigation, then get the... Um, the submissions then for the committee to uh, to uh, assess. Of course, if you feel like another hearing later on, that is always the option of the chair, Mr. Chairman. We must not let anybody who tries to fool the committee of uh, the Senate of the Republic of the Philippines, you know, to gain uh, something out of uh, trickery, chicanery, and fraud. You should not allow that. The Senate is bigger than all of us. And all of you have said that in so many words. So I will, uh, I guess my better judgment. I, apparently there is a consensus here from the others that uh, we will suspend. We will not call a hearing tomorrow. And God knows I am very relieved because I am really tired. I've been working weekends. I've been working at night. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's not easy. We prepare. So we will suspend to assess. And where do you want to call the next meeting? On Wednesday in morning? Until further notice? Mr. Chair, uh -huh. I agree with until further notice. May I just make this recommendation? I, I, I hear you, Mr. Chair. You want to assure the public na walang mangyayaring extrajudicial or may complaints. Maybe we can get an assurance from the NBI and Chief uh, De La Rosa that while we're not hearing, if there are complaints of extrajudicial killings or of police abuse or military abuse, they can go straight to your office or to the NBI uh, for the complaints and furnish our chairman, uh, Senator uh, Gordon, a copy. I in the meantime, Mr. Chair, just while you're not holding off, a hearing. A copy of? I I'm saying your concern, Mr. Chair, was that uh, kung matigil ang hearing, paano kung may mga abuses? Correct. So if they can assure us that their office will uh, take the complaints and furnish you a copy of the complaints so we can follow it up, then an indefinite suspension until you feel it is uh, right to ed either have a hearing or to terminate would be in order, Mr. Chair. Yes, so I take it that the committee wants to suspend uh, the proceedings yeah. until further notice, until we can have a caucus with the rest of the Senate if, uh, so that we can take the proper action. And so uh, I will uh, take that as uh, an instruction from the committee. Uh, and therefore, uh, we will suspend it until further notice. Uh, but before we do, I'd like to thank everyone here again. Uh, and uh, I know that some of you spent your, uh, your resources to come here. Uh, and I'd like to thank particularly Director General uh, De La Rosa for his having spent the whole day and night here. Uh, we started this proceeding at 9 o'clock. I have never seen a committee work that long in a long, long, long time. I, I don't... I don't see anything like that, but I just want to let the people know, nakita nyo ang Senado, hindi kami sumusuko sa trabaho at gagawin pa rin namin yan sa mga susunod na panahon. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po. This meeting is suspended until further uh, notice.